Welcome to the Flipping and Wholesaling Houses in New York show. I am Michael Pinto, where I teach you how to start flipping houses or wholesaling anywhere. Whole, flipping or wholesaling anywhere. I don't know if I got to caught that. Um, or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. So, um, question why I'm working on Memorial Day. So, a couple things. First of all, about Memorial Day, I think Memorial Day is an amazing day where we uh, honor the people who lost their lives defending this country. Uh, my father was a veteran of Korea. And when I think about people that stormed the beaches at Normandy and so many died to win the Second World War, and I think about the young people today who, uh, uh, you know, get upset if their if their latte wasn't uh, responsibly sourced, um, I think it's an amazing thing. And I think we have to understand that freedom is not free. It uh, gets paid for by the blood of the people that are willing to uh, serve this country and pick up a weapon and defend this country. Um, and uh, I think we have to be thankful that we live in not just the greatest country in the world today, but the greatest country that's ever existed in history. Uh, we are unbelievably fortunate to live here. To be an American is an amazing thing. Now, question, if it's in such a great day, why the hell am I working? So the answer really is because I really like working. I mean, it sounds crazy. You know, I remember I think Drew Carey had something where he said, oh, you don't like your job? There's a group for that. It's called Everyone. And we meet at the bar at uh, 6 o'clock. Um, so, like, this is concept that you're supposed to hate your job and hate what you do. Um, I love what I do. doesn't mean it's great every day. I've had horrible days where I wanted to stab myself in the ear with a pen. Um, and not every minute is great. But overall, I really like what I do. And I think this concept that we have, um, this sell job that we've been given about um, retirement. Retirement doesn't make any sense to me, right? Uh, you sort of, could you be doing something you like and then the rest of, the, the idea is that you do something that pays the bills and then you get this pension or some defined benefit plan where then you'll be then doing the things you like the rest of your lives, the rest of your life, rest of your life, rest of your life, rest of the rest of the years of your life. But to me, it's also that even if that was true, it doesn't even make sense because those are the best years of your life, your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, right? You may not be healthy enough when you're mid 60s, late 60s to do the things you want to do, right? Um, also, you may not have enough money to do the things you want to do. So. My idea is simple. Do find something you love to do. Do that until you die, right? I don't mind if I'm sitting at this desk when I'm 102 years old and I drop dead on it. I'd be very happy. Um, I mean, I guess I prefer to be surrounded by people who love me, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. But theoretically, if I'm doing what I love to do, what is wrong with doing it until you die? I, I, that to me seems simple. And it's funny because I'm a big... <laughs> Hi, Tony. I'm glad you're working today, too. It's not Memorial Day in the Philippines, Tony, so don't, don't you don't get any credit for that. But... Um, what am I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Um, people, oh, like Mike Rowe. I'm a huge fan of Mike Rowe, the guy who does dirty jobs. Great guy. And I think he has a thing where it's like this idea of do what you love and the money will follow is stupid because you can learn to love the things you do. I agree, especially if you're your own boss. I believe that. Um, and he speaks about a guy who like cleans out cesspools with other people's human waste. And he said over time he learned to love it. In the beginning he was disgusted by it, but he learned. But that was a guy, I think, who ran his own business. So... I think you have to ask yourself if you're somebody who wants to run your own business or not. There are people who are not cut out for it, right? And get, and guess, believe it, even the people who are, very often we doubt ourselves. Is this the right thing to do? Can I just get something more steady? It doesn't have ups and downs. I, there's doubts, right? There are doubts. But but overall, um, I, I think the real, the real key to success sh should be find something you enjoy doing and doing till, do it till you drop dead. Right? Why not? Why not? I enjoy it. I like doing what I'm doing. I went on an appointment today. I thought it was great. I'm going to make an offer later today or tomorrow, and I like it. I hope I get the house. I hope I make some money off it. That's just the way it is. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I, I think the idea of looking at your watch all day to go home, but I do, by the way, I do look at my watch to go home, but it's usually because my wife, I told my wife what time I'd be home for dinner, but it's not because I got to get out of here. If you hate what you do, you got to start thinking about doing other things, right? And I think the kids today, what I'm just saying is probably a bad message to them because you have to put in time, right? I'm starting, not starting, I'm sort of reinventing another aspect of the business, the coaching business that I do. And, um, you know, it's it's work. It's work for a good year and a half, two years of me doing it until I can offload it to other people or make it scalable. So, I don't mind that. I don't mind putting in the work. And I, I like growing things. In fact, if I, th I think if I had some, if I could figure out what my unique ability is. Where's that book? I'm trying to figure this out. There's a book called Unique Ability. Um, and it would be building things. So I, li I like that part. Um, 
So I don't mind it. I, but I think that a lot of these kids that get into something, um, go working for an investment bank, working for a big company, they're like, oh, it's so boring, oh, it's so stupid. And they don't realize that you got to pay your dues and do boring, stupid things in the beginning. I, I did tons of boring, stupid things. Tons. So years of boring, stupid things. Like, you can't avoid that. But I think if you find something that you enjoy doing, then do it forever. So uh, retirement to me doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. It doesn't I don't understand why at the age of 65 you would suddenly decide to not do the thing that you liked. And if you don't like it, then you've really given the best years of your life towards something you hate. So I don't get that. But again, um, you know, I don't work Saturdays at all. As an Orthodox Jew, I, I'm basically turned Amish. My phone is not on. I don't use electricity. I don't use cars from Friday night to Saturday night. So I always get one day off. It's also been very good for my kids because they, they have to unplug for one day a week. Um, I think everybody should unplug for at least one day a week. I don't usually work Sundays, but I will if I have to. So ver what happens a lot is that a seller will say something like, I I'm only available on weekends. I work late hours. I work crazy hours. And then I'll try and schedule something on a Sunday. But I will not, um, you know, my, my, I don't believe you should work till you die in the, in the aspect of you got to work so hard and hustle and hustle and hustle forever. I think hustling is important. I think working hard is important. But I think the beauty of working for yourself and the beauty of any kind of success is time freedom that you can work when you want to and when you don't want to. Anybody watching my channel knows I travel a lot. I have two grandchildren in California. I try to see them every month. Sometimes they come to me, but a lot of times me and my wife go to see them, right? I have a son who's uh, studying in Israel. We try to see him uh, at least once a year, sometimes twice. So I travel a lot. Um, but it's important that you that you work to live, not live to work. In other words, your job is there to to serve you, right? I, I have a good friend, great guy. He has a, a very successful business, but he has to drive very, very far every day. I'm talking sometimes in traffic, two and a half, three hours every day. And I tell him all the time, move your freaking warehouse closer. And he's like, it's too hard. I'm gonna lose my people and stuff. And I'm like, it's worth it. It's worth it, right? For him to... I don't go every day. Whatever he tells me, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense, right? He could move that thing closer. The value of the property is astronomical. And um, to save four or five hours every day, and even if he's, I think he goes in four times a week, that's a crazy amount of time. 20 hours a week, flush down the toilet, sitting in the, on, on, uh, on the highway. To me, it's insane. So that's the way I view my business. My business is there to serve me. I'm not here to serve the business. I My goal would be to take myself out of the business 98% of the time. That's my goal, right? I first have to find somebody else to do acquisitions. Um, and then maybe I would one day hire someone to do be a chief operating officer. That's fine. I would love to work in the business five hours. I'm not at that level yet. I'm not. I want to be. I really do. Um, I got to get better lead flow. There's a lot of things I know that I have to do in my business that I may or may not be doing. Let's leave it at that. I should be doing it. So... That's how I look at my, my business. My business is there to serve me. My, I'm not there to serve my business, right? If you're, and a lot of people open up a business and they get into a situation where they are basically have a job um, that probably pays them less than they could make if, in the free market. Um, and they have no freedom and no ability to leave. And that's horrible, right? So that's not what I'm looking for at all. I, I'm aware of how the business should be. A lot of what I'm saying is from, that I get from my mastermind group because these are guys who have really thought it through who have gotten to the point where they worked so hard. Some of these guys made huge mistakes, messed up their lives, got divorced because they didn't know how to manage their 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 work-life balance. I also people say there is no work-life balance, but there is, certainly is. Um, um, for me, you know, part when I tell people that I don't take phone calls on on Friday night through Saturday, uh, some people say you're crazy. What if a great deal comes through? I'm like, I'll I'll miss it or I'll catch it the next day. So I understand that, but you have to understand that I really like what I do and uh, I'm trying to help as many people as I can. So I am sort of revamping my coaching business where I'm trying to help a bunch of people shortly who all want to uh, rehab properties uh, and make a lot of money on it. And there is a lot of money in it. I have students who've done very, very well. So hopefully this was helpful. If you're interested in all the ways I can help you, go to howtoflipnewyork.com or learn to flip and wholesale.com. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on any media channel, please click the thumbs up. The likes really help the algorithm. A lot more people will see my videos. So thank you all for the likes and thank you all for the views. And I post five times a week. I rarely know what the hell I'm going to talk about. So please give me suggestions via comments. Tell me what you want to hear. I'm, this point of this channel is to answer your questions. 
and um, you can ask any question. It does not have, does not have to be about the video you're watching. Um, if it's a simple answer, I'll just reply with an answer. If it's something I've covered recently, I'll send you a link to a video on it. If it's something I haven't covered in a long time or I've never covered, I'll do a brand new video on it. So thank you very, very much for watching.